Hi, this is Tim Whitney. I work in Westside Safety Department, and I want to go ahead and demonstrate uh, the proper manner in which to couple the trailer to the tractor. First thing we want to do is line the tractor up straight with the trailer. The trailer is 102 inches wide and the tires are only 96 inches wide. So when we back underneath it, we want to make sure uh, that there's like a three inch space from the outside of the tires to the outside of the trailer. You know, if you don't line the fifth wheel up properly with the kingpin on the trailer, you know, you can force the trailer to move side to side and if there's a lot of weight on it, it can damage the, uh, the trailer uh, landing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back up to the trailer. My fifth wheel is getting close to the trailer and I'm going to get out now and I want to check the height of the uh, fifth wheel against the height of the trailer. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin can actually jump in front of the fifth wheel and that's not a very good situation to be in. It takes some time and effort to fix that. The other thing that can happen is you can have a high hook. The kingpin can actually um, sit down on top of the of the uh, jaws of the fifth wheel and can damage them. The other thing that can happen is if the trailer's too low, you know, the fifth wheel can actually hit the trailer and do some damage that way. So we're going to get out and take a look at the height. As we get out to take a look here, I can see that the, uh, the pickup apron of the trailer here is about an inch below you know, the jaws of the fifth wheel. And again, when I back under the trailer, it'll pick it up just a little bit to take the weight off the uh, landing gear to prevent any damage to them. So I'm going to jump back in and uh, go ahead and back under the trailer. And when you check the height of the trailer, it's also critical to make sure that the release arm for your fifth wheel is up. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the tractor and back under the trailer now. Now that I've coupled the trailer to the tractor to make sure that it's uh, coupled and, and it's hooked properly, I'm going to do a couple tug tests. Uh, to make sure that it is locked. We'll go ahead and hook up the electrical lines and the air lines to the trailer. If you have to get up between the tractor and trailer, it's always good to use three point contact there as well. It's important that you connect the service line to the proper receptacle and the emergency line to the proper receptacle. If you crisscross them, then your parking brakes will not release. So we have blue color on the flat hand, and then we have a blue colored line on the receptacle of the trailer. And then on the emergency line is red, and we have a red air line on the trailer. So it prevents you from uh, confusing those. And we'll crank up the uh, dollies and that will complete the coupling. Put it into the uh, to the uh, 
carrier there. We don't want the dolly hanging down as we get down the road. So now we're ready to, to uh, get rolling. 